What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a fantastic little mod that makes taking pictures of your builds in Minecraft much, much easier. Obviously, you can enter spectator mode and fly around your buildings having a look at them, but we can go a step further and do something really cool, which is this, if I zoom out a little, the orthographic camera mod. If you build anything in Minecraft and you want to show it off, this is a fantastic way to do it. Whether you're taking close-ups or more distant shots, the orthographic camera basically means that blocks that are close to your camera are going to be about the same size as blocks further away. It's a really trippy and weird effect but when done it just right it can make things look really really cool and of course you can carry on playing as usual for the most part let's talk about installing it and how to get things going but first a quick thank you to apex hosting for sponsoring this guide if you're looking to host a powerful minecraft server with built-in automatic backups powerful ddos protection super low latency then apex hosting is a fantastic choice after you click the link make sure to check the top right where you'll see the current coupon code currently it's craft 30 where you can get 30% off your first invoice. All you need to do is click get started, choose your Minecraft edition, Java, Bedrock or any other game for that matter, select your server size and just like that you'll have a Minecraft server set up in no time. Again you'll find a link to them down below, a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this guide. So the ortho camera mod, you'll find a link to this down below. It's a fantastic little mod that makes taking pictures of worlds that you build and things like that much easier. The only downside is that it only goes as far as your render distance. I can zoom out and, well, it sort of ends wherever your render distance ends. I've cranked everything up using sodium to 32 chunks, and that's unfortunately as far as I can go, not that you'll see much beyond this point. However, Distant Horizons, which you'll find a guide for linked down below, you can see much, much further. Anyways, the Ortho Camera Mod. In order to download and install this mod, you'll need Fabric installed first. So, currently you can see this mod, by choosing Download, Game Version, supports all the way up to Minecraft 1.21.4. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this page. Simply choose Download for Windows and wait for the Fabric installer to download. Once it's done, make sure Minecraft is closed, as well as the launcher, and open it up. Once it has, choose a compatible Minecraft version from the Minecraft version list, and then just choose Install. That's it. Once it's done, click OK, and you can close out of this. There's a few more things that we need to do first. We need to download and install Fabric API. Choose Download using the link down below, select Game Version, choose the same version here, and then Download. With this mod downloaded, and Ortho Camera, so Download, Game Version 1.21.4, Download, all we need to do is drop this into our Minecraft Mods folder. So, hold Start or the Windows key and press R to bring up this window here. Type in percentage, app data, percentage, slash dot Minecraft as such. Hit enter and this will open your Minecraft installation folder straight away. All you need to do is find the mods folder and open it up. If you don't have the mods folder, right click, create a new folder and just call it mods. Inside of here, make sure your other mods in here support the current version of your game and if they don't, you'll need to clear it out or rename the folder. So I'll move it away and make ourselves a new mods folder. Opening this, all we need to do is drop the AuthoCam mod Fabric API as well. Once we've installed these two mods here, that's pretty much all you need, but I would recommend downloading and installing Sodium as well for much better performance. Again, choose the correct game version. And finally, after copying this in too, I'd also recommend downloading and installing Iris if you'd like shaders. Do note that only some shaders work with this. Other shaders may cause weird things like glitch flashing lights and stuff like that so you'll just need to go through your shaders one by one until you find something that works. So with these four files in here let's open up the Minecraft launcher once more and as usual we'll optimize the game settings to get better performance before we even started. So in the launcher click the installations tab at the very top hover over Minecraft 1.21.4 or whatever version you're installing it for and click the three dots here. Choose edit and more options then scrolling down you'll see XMX followed by a number G. Inside of here, we'll be changing that number to be however much maximum RAM will allow the game to use. 
press Control shift and escape at the same time to open up your task manager. Head across to the performance tab, followed by memory, and in here you'll see the total amount of RAM in your system, how much is used, and how much is available. All you need to do is give Minecraft a good chunk of the available RAM here. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM, Windows is using four, you have 12 gigs left. Leave a bit for other programs, browsers, YouTube, etc., and give Minecraft most of whatever's left. Let's leave two or three for browsers and things like that. That leaves us with 10. In that case, all you need to do is change 2G to be, say, 10G. That's it. Save this and fire up Minecraft 1.21.4 with the Auto Camera mod. Once you're in game, head into the Options screen followed by Controls, then Keybinds, and scrolling down, you should find a new section, Auto Camera. So by default, you'll only have these first four set, as well as a toggle orthographic camera. Everything else here is unbound. I'd recommend changing the Open Options button here to something like number nine on your numpad if you're going to be using this pretty often. Numpad plus and minus are used to zoom out and zoom in. And to fix the orthographic camera or stick it in place, you can use the multiply or star key on your numpad. That's it. So now that I've set the open options to nine, let's get into game and you'll see just how things work. So what we'll do first of all is hit number four to toggle the orthographic camera mod, use plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out, and if you wish, star to lock it in place. Now you can look around freely and move around your Minecraft world. Pretty cool. Also, quick note from the future, pause the game options and video settings. If you're using sodium, you'll need to make sure that under performance, use block face culling is turned off. Otherwise, this mod won't work properly. If we unlock it, move the camera back and hit nine to open up the option screen. In here, we can change the scale of some things, maximum and minimum distance, fix the camera, enable third person automatically and stuff like that. And assuming you have the fixed camera turned on, you can change how it's looking around here using the fixed camera pitch and the fixed camera yaw. So by default, I think it's probably something that's relatively nice to look at. But if you'd like that typical look, you want to be somewhere around, I suppose, here, where you get a good view of the world from sort of one of the corners right above. From here, things should look relatively good. And of course, you can play the game mostly as usual or just film things from afar in this nice little orthographic view. Again, things closer to you are going to look pretty much the same size as things further away. It's a really cool, super unique look that you can also use on servers. Now, I don't have many servers here. Joining just Hypixel, for example, would dropped in and the camera mod is already enabled. Obviously, this is a bit too tight to see what's going on, but if you have a super impressive sky block or something like that you want to take a picture of, this can get you some really good results. Let's see if we can do something like that. So sky block and no, this dropped me on my sky block from many years ago. Well, that's uh, pretty cool. I remember last playing this with friends and not on this island, but regardless, bam, there we go. Now we have this orthographic camera look. We can position the camera nicely. Unfortunately, on servers, we don't have control over the sun, but yeah, this looks pretty cool. Just disable your HUD and you'll have a really good screenshot to take just like that. That's really it. Again, a huge thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. This is a really cool plugin and if you've got something impressive to show off, let me know if this video helped you. Thank you for watching and again, thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!